Who wouldn't want to grow up under the same roof as these fathers? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Best Modern TV Dads. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at television fathers from the 2000s onwards who truly exemplify what it means to be an awesome parent. However, animated dads like Bob Belcher will not be considered. Don't have a crap attack. Ah! <laughs> Number 10. Corey Matthews, Girl Meets World It's not your world yet. It's still my world. For those who grew up watching Boy Meets World, Alan Matthews was the gold standard when it came to TV dads. He may have been tough, but he was always there for his children, with either a helping hand or a hearty smile. Thus, it should come as no surprise that his son Corey turned into a great father as well. While most kids wouldn't want their dad as their teacher, Corey manages to make things fun for his daughter Riley and her friends in Girl Meets World, educating them on the world and helping them deal with their problems. Clearly, he picked up a thing or two from his equally nurturing father. I thought it might be an interesting lesson for you guys to see how rational and caring people can bring war to an end. Number 9. Michael Richard Kyle Sr. My Wife and Kids My should is coming in. Get out of here. Wow, look at this. You'd be hard-pressed to find a TV dad who could lay down the law like Michael Kyle could. This fast-talking, no-nonsense pops often tricks his kids into thinking something horrible has happened, only to reveal he's been behind it the whole time. This is often used as a way to teach them a lesson and is referred to as a Michael Kyle signature moment. However, beneath all his tough talk, Michael's just a big softy who loves his kids more than anything. Just don't ask if you miss curfew, because he'll drop an uh, nah on you real fast. You, you like clothing, don't you? Yes, you wanna take me shopping? Uh, no. <laughs> Number eight, Dr. Andrew Andy Brown, Everwood. Whenever you need me, I'll always be here. Because when you think that I'm not listening, I am. And when you think I've forgotten, I haven't. After his wife passes away, Dr. Andy Brown moves his nine-year-old daughter Delia and teenage son Ephraim to the small Colorado town of Everwood. Dealing with the loss of a loved one is never easy. Doing it while trying to raise a couple of kids is even harder. That sounds like a step in the right direction. However, Andy goes above and beyond the call of duty to make sure he has strong relationships with both of his children. Even when the town shuns their family at the beginning of season two, Andy sticks by his kids, never allowing them to feel lonely or unwanted. If that isn't the sign of a good dad, we don't know what is. I'm not a junkie, you're a junkie. No one's a junkie in this house. Number seven, Michael Bluth, Arrested Development. Gotta do something about that kid's self-esteem. While Michael is first and foremost a father to his son, George Michael, that's hardly the only person he's tasked with looking after. Surrounded by incompetent family members whose selfishness is only outweighed by their inability to deal with problems on their own, Michael is constantly putting out fires set by the rest of his family. I'm, I'm always going to look out for you, all right? And you're always going to look out for me. While he often threatens to run away, and sometimes does, he always ends up coming back. Sure, his son may lack the ability to catch a ball, but it's not for lack of trying on Michael's part. As a single father trying to raise a son amidst financial scandal, we like to think he does a pretty good job. George Michael, you have a family, okay? And I'm the winner, not you. Number six, Keith Mars, Veronica Mars. Did you take the case? Well, we need the money, Veronica. Good. I would have been pissed if you hadn't. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have cared if you were. Keith Mars is smart, witty, and always there when his daughter needs him. Not only does he lay claim to some of the best dad jokes in TV history, he also performs the role of rock and hard place to perfection when dealing with would-be suitors looking to get it on with his daughter. Did you make any friends? Lord, no. Enemies? <sighs> yeah, well, it is a day that ends in a Y. If that weren't already enough, Keith is also a brilliant detective. So much so that even after he gets kicked off the police force, many of his former employees still turn to him for advice. But ultimately, it's the fact that he puts Veronica above all else that earns him a spot on this list. Why don't you just tell Veronica? me? Veronica? No, it's done, it's over with. Just stay away from him. Number five, Marshall Erickson, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, not sure if we're in the moment, but apparently little Marvin was quite stunned by the news. Well, yeah. yeah. Men like Marshall are born to be fathers. 
for the better part of nine seasons, Marshall Erickson was one of the best friends on television. He's honest, trustworthy, and always around to lend a helping hand. So when he and Lily decide to have a child, it's pretty clear that Marshall is going to be a fantastic father. He's going to be a little Browns fan! <laughs> he embodies all of the characteristics of a legendary pop. He leads by example, keeps an open mind, and always stops to appreciate the little things. Sure, he occasionally forgets himself and tosses his newborn child ten feet in the air, but hey, nobody's perfect. Welcome home, buddy. <laughs> Number 4. Bert Hummel, Glee A good parent will always go to bat for their child. When Bert Hummel made his first appearance on Glee, it was in stark contrast to his free-spirited gay son, Kurt. So one of you two is girlfriend? Bert is a blue-collar, football-loving, beer-drinking dude, and his son, well, isn't. However, while Bert and his son may not have a lot in common, that doesn't stop them from being the best of friends. Who could forget the scene where Bert defends Kurt after Finn makes a homophobic slur? My family comes first. I can't have that kind of poison around. If that scene doesn't bring a tear to your eye, you might just be a robot. A good father has his son's back, and that's what makes Bert one of the best. What the hell, dude? You like picking on people? Why don't you try me? Bert. Number three, Phil Dunphy, Modern Family. Hey. Hey. Allie, why don't you take it outside, okay? And do what? Fight in the sun, it'll be a nice change. Hey, Allie. <laughs> Are you able to be a good father if you still act like a child? This is the question posed by the creators of Modern Family every time Phil Dunphy appears on screen. For all intents and purposes, he has the soul of a much younger man. However, while Phil's parenting style may be unconventional, he is definitely a rad dad. You don't have to do this. Luke can join the army. It's okay. I may be locked up, but my mind is free. Whether it's concocting some ridiculous invention with Luke, protecting Haley from creepy male suitors, or attempting to help Alex with her insanely hard homework, Phil is always willing to give it his all. What's the plan, Phil? At least I'm trying to do something! And unlike Cam and Mitchell, themselves awesome parents, Phil has to work with being the only dad in the house. Number 2. Andre Dre Johnson Sr. Blackish. Kids, this is your justice system doing its job. Same old story. If the previous entries have taught us anything, it's that the best TV dads are understanding, protective, and always good for a laugh. Andre Johnson is no different. In fact, he may just be the perfect mixture of all three. Oh, great! Bachelor party at medieval times! <sighs> Whether he's lecturing Junior on how to be a man, keeping Zoe's ego in check, or trying to ensure that twins Jack and Diane don't kill each other, Dre manages to juggle it all while making sure his kids understand how lucky they are to be growing up in the burbs. So, Dad, are you saying Uncle Johan is wrong? Yes, Junior. Things are just as racist now as they were the first time they canceled Arsenio. The second time was his fault. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. So, you're, uh, smart, huh? I've never been tested. But you, you did all this, so you must be smart. We love you. And the door is always open. Yeah, I know. Pops gave me a master class all about you. Now I know everything there is to know about Erica Dorothy Goldberg. Number one. Eddard Ned Stark, Game of Thrones. A man who passes a sentence should swing the sword. Although he's Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North, Ned Stark's most important roles in life are being a husband and a father. Ned stands out as a great father for a number of reasons. He always defends his children, he's full of sage wisdom that he's only too keen to pass on to them, and he always does the right thing, no matter the cost. Whether he's allowing his daughter to practice sword fighting, mentoring his bastard son on the importance of duty, or protecting the realm from evildoers, Ned Stark is the TV dad we all wish we had. You're old enough. I'll make you a match with someone who's worthy of you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.